Hey everyone, it's Elise. I'm the Senior Program Manager for ODMAP. After we sent out our initial video yesterday, we had some additional inquiries on further functionality that you can do within ODMAP and also uh, different layers within ArcGIS or layers of your own. So I just wanted to put together a quick video today um, that if you don't know where to start, it's okay. Um, we're all in this together. Um, and that COVID-19 is certainly unpredictable and unprecedented, which has uh, been causing resources in every arena to be stretched. Um, but it's still important to look at the SUD population and any implications that COVID-19 may have on it. So I wanted to show some functions that exist within ODMAP um, that as COVID-19 evolves, that you can take a look at overdose data um, to try and start understanding those implications. So for the purposes of today's uh, webinar, uh, we are in the training environment. So this is fictitious data. And so what we're going to do is uh, just expand a little bit more on the prior video. So first, we're going to take a look at um, a specific time frame um, as you're doing your analysis, whatever makes the most sense for you. Um, so we'll start looking at from when there was the first case reported um, within the US um, until today. And then we just turn those filters on and it's going to populate data throughout the nation. So again, this is fictitious data. And so the next part would be to maybe look at it based off of your state or your county. Um, and so for the purposes of today, we'll just take a look at Maryland, um, since that's where we're located. Um, so we click Maryland right here. And now we'll just see Maryland data. So you can zoom in either by you know clicking your mouse two times, or you can toggle this button right here. All right, so we're zoomed in, and now we want to take a look at um, the first layer being COVID-19 data. So you're just going to click that Add Data. We're going to be looking through Esri's ArcGIS online open source data. So again, you will need an ArcGIS login in order to access this. You'll just type in COVID and then, you know, whatever you're looking for. And so we see a uh, Maryland data right here. And again, if you're curious on, on who published this data, you can always click on details and it will take you over to ArcGIS. And so we can see that this layer um, came uh, directly from, um, from Maryland. So we can add that data. And so now it's going to add that data layer. Your, your layer may look different depending on what state or county you're in, depending on how that data has been um, structured. So to make this easier to look at, um, since these layers are particularly dense, um, you can go over here to the layer list, and we see the layer that we just imported right here, and we can play with the transparency. So you just click this, and you have uh, right here where you can go through and make it to what makes the most sense for you. Um, so we'll leave it uh, right here. And so there's other layers that are available that you can click on that may be helpful for you. So, for example, if you wanted to look at um, hospitals that are in your state or your locality, you could do that as well. And so this one came up right here. And again, if I want to see more information, I can click details and it will take us over to it. And there's also a helpful link in here um, where this information is hosted within Maryland as well. And so I want to take a minute to point this out because your state or your county likely has an existing um, GIS data portal or um, an open data portal that you can um, access to see what data is already available out there for you. So I can add that data in as well. And so now we see that all the hospitals um, are plotted on the map as well. So you can still complete your same functions that exist, um, but this will help um, maybe draw some initial conclusions or anecdotal conclusions on what's currently uh, happening. And again, a lot of this is unknown, right? Um, we don't know what's going to happen um, and what the implications are going to be of, uh, you know, border closures on drug trafficking organizations, how shelter in place and stay at home um, is affecting harm reduction efforts and resources allocations. Um, but as you as this unfolds and continues to um, change, you can apply this analysis and start having a better understanding of what's happening and how you can adapt with it. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. Um, we will likely continue this series um, with different uh, analysis that you can conduct in ODMAP. Thanks for tuning in.